What if launching your own blockchain was as easy as launching a website? No need to build your own security system. No need to run your own network of validators. Just focus on your app and let someone else handle the heavy lifting. That is exactly what Celestia is offering. It is a modular blockchain that separates the parts of a blockchain into different layers. And this simple change might shape the future of Web3. Let's break it down. What is Celestia? Why does it matter? And what are the risks? What problem does Celestia solve? Traditional blockchains like Ethereum are monolithic. They try to do everything in one layer. They process transactions, store data, validate blocks, and secure the network. That is powerful, but it becomes slow, expensive, and hard to scale, especially as more people use the network. Celestia takes a different approach. It breaks the blockchain into modular layers, each one doing a specific job. Think of it like separating the engine, the storage, and the user interface of a car, so each can be upgraded or optimized without affecting the others. In Celestia's case, it specializes in one thing, storing and securing data for other blockchains. Real-world examples. Let's say you are a developer and want to build a new blockchain, maybe for a game, a social app, or a decentralized finance protocol. In the old model, you would have to set up your own validators, worry about security, and deal with infrastructure headaches. But with Celestia, you can launch your own chain in a few steps and plug into Celestia's data layer to handle storage and security. It is like opening a new shop and using Amazon Web Services for hosting, instead of building your own servers. You still control your store, but someone else keeps it online. For example, a roll-up built for NFT trading can use Celestia to store transaction data. A gaming app can launch its own chain and rely on Celestia for finalizing the results of each match. And all of this runs faster and cheaper, because each chain can focus on its own job. How the tech works now. Let's talk about the technology. But in simple words, Celestia uses something called Data Availability Sampling, or DAS. Normally, blockchain nodes need to download everything in a block to verify it. That is slow. Celestia lets nodes check small random parts of a block, like spot checking a bag of rice, to confirm the whole thing is valid. This means validators do not need to store full blocks. The network can scale horizontally as more people join, and developers can launch custom chains quickly and securely. It is all built using the Cosmos SDK, which means it is compatible with IBC, a messaging system that lets blockchains talk to each other. So your rollup can easily connect to other chains in the Cosmos ecosystem, or even Ethereum, the TIA token. Let's break down the TIA token, Celestia's native cryptocurrency. You use it to pay for blob space, which is like paying rent to store your data on the Celestia network. It is also used for staking, to help secure the network and earn rewards, usually around 5 to 7% per year. And you can use TIA to vote on proposals, like changes to block size or network upgrades. As of July 2025, the total supply is 1.14 billion TIA, the circulating supply is around 721 million, and about 60 million tokens were airdropped to early users and developers to kickstart the ecosystem. So if you are building on Celestia or staking TIA, you are helping secure the future of modular blockchains. Pros and risks. So what is good and what is not? The strengths. Celestia is scalable by design, meaning more users does not mean more problems. It lowers the cost for developers to launch chains, which could lead to a wave of innovation. It has over $100 million in reserves, giving it at least six years of runway. But there are concerns, too. TIA has dropped over 90% from its all-time high, which has made some investors nervous. There are worries about insider selling and upcoming token unlocks, which could create price pressure. And most importantly, modular blockchains are still a new concept. For Celestia to succeed, developers need to adopt it, and demand for blob space must grow. Celestia is not trying to replace Ethereum or Solana. Instead, it wants to be the invisible infrastructure, the back-end that powers a whole new generation of blockchains. If it works, developers could spin up their own chains as easily as launching a website. And if demand picks up, TIA could become one of the most important tokens in crypto, not for payments, but for data. But success depends on one thing, 
Will developers choose Celestia as the foundation for their chains? That is the real test, and we will be watching closely. So, what do you think? Is Celestia the missing piece of Web3 infrastructure, or is the modular hype too early to matter? Let me know in the comments. If you found this helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more crypto explained in plain English, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.